Okay. Um, first problem of our of the day, we have WhatsApp yo-yo. Um, find the speed VCM or VCOM of the center of mass of the yo-yo after it rolls without slipping and descending by some distance h. Assume that the yo-yo is a uniform solid cylinder of mass m and radius r. Okay, I'll just show you the solution to this problem. Okay. Okay, so again, we have um, a yo-yo that is um, descending by some height h. By the way, the height here is measured from the center of mass of the yo-yo. Para hindi tayo magka-issue sa kung ano yung, uh, kung saan siya define. Para yung MGYCM natin, ganun pa rin. Okay, first things first. Speed yung hinahanap. Therefore, what do we need to use? What method do we need to use? Do we need to use force method or energy method? Energy method. Yes, correct. We will be using energy methods because since the speed is so what we, since we want, um, we want VCM, uh, we need to use energy methods. Okay. And from that, buti na lang given ang dalawang states. State one is that the, um, the, the yo-yo is initially at rest. And state two is that the yo-yo uh, is moving with some final um, now remember again there are two uh, quantities that there are two quantities here remember the the yo-yo is not rolling uh, it rolls without slipping so my rolling without slipping ka dyan, ano nangyayari? Therefore, there should be two kinetic energies that we need to consider. The center of mass, translational kinetic energy, and the rotational kinetic energy. Okay, so dapat meron dalawang kinetic energies involved. Now, so by conservation of mechanical energy, since wala namang ibang, um, uh, ano dyan, uh, Wala namang spring dyan, therefore wala elastic potential energy. It's just gravitational potential energy. Therefore, wala namang dissipative forces. Therefore, uh, in that case, walang, uh, walang change in mechanical energy. So the mechanical energy is conserved. Hence, uh, the mechanical energy of state 1 is equal to the mechanical energy of state 2. And I can write this as 1 half m v1 squared plus 1 half i omega 1 squared plus mg y1 equals one half m v2 squared plus one half i omega 2 squared plus mg y2. Okay, now what I will do is I'll assume that the initial position of the of the yo-yo is y equals zero. Therefore, what can we say about the initial translational and rotational kinetic energy of the of the of the of the yo-yo? Ano masasabi natin sa initial translational at rotational kinetic energy? Ano masasabi natin? Remember, the yo-yo is initially at rest. Therefore, ano? Zero. Yes. Therefore, these two velocities, uh, two energies here should vanish. Zero lang dapat yan because the, the object is initially at rest. So the yo-yo um, is initially at rest. Okay. Now, what can we say about the initial potential energy of the yo-yo? What can we say? Ano masasabi natin? Again, we set it. We set the initial um, position of the yo-yo to be zero. Therefore, this should also be zero. Because we set it that way. Y one equals zero. Okay. Now, what can we say about the uh, the final kinetic energy? So it's given. So uh, I'll just write this as zero equals one half m v two squared. Uh, capital M V2 squared plus one half I omega two squared. Now, what can we say about Y2? What's the final position of the yo-yo? What's -yo? the final position? Niya? That part is so I. Um, remember, uh, it's lower than the what we set as R0. Therefore, what can we say about our final po position? Dapat negative, right? So this should be minus M. H. So I'll set this to be my equation one, and this is my equation two. So from there, uh, I can transfer this to the other side, transfer ko na sa kabilang side to, and say that I have an MGH equals one half M V2 squared plus one half I 
omega 2 squared, which is equation 3. Now, recall that we are talking about a, a uniform solid cylinder. Cylinder. Pulang ng M. Cylinder. So that what's my moment of inertia? This is one half. This is usually given. It just happens sa kabisado ko siya. One of MR squared, equation four. And I can substitute my equation four to equation three and say that, okay, I, have, I therefore have an MGH equals one half M V2 squared plus one half, um, one half quantity, one half MR squared multiplied by omega two. Squared. So this is equation 5. Now, ganito. Pansinin nyo, um, of course, the masses will cancel. <laughs> Sige, tanggalin natin yung mass na yan. Um, you have V2 and omega 2 as unknowns. So, hindi natin alam yung um, final uh, uh, translational velocity and final rotational velocity ng yo-yo. But, uh, ano pa yung kulang nating relationship? So we have two, two unknowns in one equation. We need another equation. What's that? Ano kailangan natin? Ano pa yung kailangan natin? V equals omega times R. Yes, we need to have our non-slip condition kasi since the yo-yo um, does not slip while it was descending, then V2 equals R times Omega 2, which is given by equation 6. This is also equivalent to omega 2 equals V2 over R. Since what we not, what we want is uh, V2, we eliminate um eliminate omega 2 in equation 5. Um, omega 2. By substituting equation 6 to equation 5. And thus, we therefore have gh, um, small h, equals 1 half v2 squared plus 1 fourth quantity. Um, I have an r squared here multiplied by uh, v2 squared over r squared. And therefore, this will cancel. Hint patama ginagawa natin, which implies that gh is just 1 half um, v2 squared plus 1 fourth V2 squared, which is equal to what? Ano lang yan? 3 fourths, diba? 3 fourths, V2 squared, equation 7. And thus, thus, the final center of mass velocity, VCOM, or VCM na lang pala, VCM is just equal to fourth, square root of 4 thirds times GH. So that is our answer, equation 8. May tanong? May tanong sa problem na to? So, Okay, now, okay, let me just uh, uh, point out something. Talalan nyo yung particles niya. So, for example, if you have a particle that is um, initially launched at rest and it falls down at some height h, ano yung magiging final velocity? So, recall, I need to emphasize this. So, v squared equals v naught squared plus 2a, and then minus 2gy, di ba? Uh, um, v squared minus 2gy. Tama? Tapos negative to, so since negative to, pwede mong isulat yan na simply 2gy. Parang ganyan. And thus, when you find the final velocity or final speed, you have square root of 2gy. Or, sige, gawin na lang natin height ng h. Para, para ito, h na lang din to. Okay? Now, kung papansinin mo, itong nakuha natin kanina for a yo-yo, um, factor niya is 4 thirds. Ang factor nito for a usual box that is falling down is spirit of 2GH. Okay? Ngayon, bakit? <laughs> the question is why? Why is it different? Because for a usual falling object, wala kang contribution na rotation dun sa object. Hindi naman kasi umiikot yung object. Eh. Okay? For a yo-yo, um, the potential energy initially of the yo-yo is converted to both translational and rotational kinetic energy. Therefore, dapat yung speed ng object mas, mas maliit siya compared to as if it's just falling down without some rotation. Okay? Hence, this coefficient 4 thirds here is less than 2. Nakuha? Nakuha? Kung bakit ganon? Opo. Okay? So basically, it's a sanity check on whether we get the correct answer 
or not. Of course, hindi pa rin natin sure, pero tama yan. <laughs> sure ako tama yan. Okay? Questions? May tanong? Wala? None po. None. Okay.